Atmos TV Entertainment without bound. Welcome to Ikeja, Lagos, Nigeria, one of the busy places in Lagos. And yes, it's not just the capital of Lagos State. It is also one place where we have high commercial activities. And after the ease of the lockdown, there's been a lot of activities going on here in Ikeja. One question remains, are people following the rules? Are they maintaining social distancing? Are they also making use of their face mask? We're about to find out as we go around to also ask if this easing of the lockdown is the way forward or even if the lockdown extension is something we are looking forward to anytime soon looking at how people are reacting to some of the rules laid down by the government thank you for joining us this is Enola Badmos TV come with us as we go and you know already my name is Elisha Muyasara Lua and all time favorites hey, my name is Kenneth and I'm an air stylist people will follow lockdown uh, guidelines if only it's been enforced because we all know generally Nigerians are stubborn. So one is being enforced and uh, we need more sensit sensitization on people. Lecture them and tell them the benefits of following all these guidelines. That's what I think is important. And for government, I think uh, Onga is even killing people faster than coronavirus. If the government can as well make palliatives to reach all areas whereby we have less privilege and poor people more. I think everything will be fine concerning the lockdown. I can see many people have been observing the lockdown rules. By I've been here for like um, one hour now and noticing their transport, they do see two on two on the seats because people are really suffering. For instance, where you can enter a bus from here to Maryland for like 15 era is now 200 naira, some 300 naira, like times four or times six of what people are entering it. So that's just what I can see. I've got to say, you know, everybody know how to be. Oh, that be, but I don't cover, no. I want to cover, no cover. So it's here, but I don't have to follow normal protocol. Because in the motto, everybody go, ah, for our more. If I come back to one scene, everybody go, space to work. I then day, Kini, 247, especially I go to the village. Because especially in vicinity tower, he had any problem. Because I will be so to about one of a lock down. I just want to go over she frown. Because I believe with this Saint Anne Sheva, he only could you go to support to my phone and another lockdown. But what I really observe about this, um, the ease of the lockdown. It has not really helped, and it is because people are disobedient. They are not following the directives. For instance, like me, I know my health status, and I know the level of my immune system. I have decided that I will have to follow all the directives by the government, by the NCDC, the WHO, and the Ministry of Health. Um, people are not really following, and they are you know, risking their health. They are taking their health at high risk. Because um, we have been told that we should cover our mouth, our nose, and everything. And we have been told to wash our hands regularly, often, and to keep social distancing. But people are not observing it. And this is not fair at all. And I don't blame some people too. It is the government I blame because the government is not providing the things that are necessary for them. See? So a lot of people like some cars, the buses that I saw today, some of them are still carrying four, three, although it's better than the money that we are first um, asked to move out. But at least today is still better because some are still keeping the observing it, but not really encouraging. For my own and literal understanding I have, even in the word of word of God, I, I close it in the Bible, where God himself told us to lock ourselves in the behind the door and wait a little while so that the anger of the Lord will be over. So by then, the Creator will take away the disease and the people will repent on their sin because when we repent, the problem we are facing will be over. 
then to lock down, it will help, help if the masses will comply. Okay, but some people never even, even if you divide Nigeria into three, or about two, never understand, never agree that there is a, a corona virus. That is the problem. But when the masses agree and understand that there is a disease called uh, uh, corona virus, then they, they will be ag agree to lock themselves in. Lock up, up, lock up down the everything will help if everybody will cooperate. It helps the masses simply because most of the masses go out there and look for what to eat and to survive. But at the same time, the social distance rules have not been met at all. Take for instance, uh, in the banking hall, if you go to any bank now, look at their gauge, you will see crowd. At the bus stop, even our commercial buses, they, are, they don't take to, to the rules. Like the vehicle I bus to here now, we search 3-3 three, three on the seat in which five meters social distance is not observed. So my own opinion is if our government can, sit, can call us and educate the masses, let them know the advantages in social distance. Let them know the advantages of being isolated the, themselves. So when, when the government educates us, then we will know where, where, where to move to and what to do. But without government being educated the masses, they, will, they won't know the benefit of the uh, lockdown and the social distance of a thing. I would advise our government at least to make sure they enlighten our uh, security officers, most especially the police and the tax force. Like I was coming from tax force office, the way they are addressing people there is not advisable. And even there, they don't observe uh, social distance. If you see crowd there, and the police officers there, the way they address people is not, it, it, they don't address us manually. Aha, uh -huh. the government should enlighten our officers. Sometimes, in forming an opinion about a particular situation, you probably have to be in the middle of it. And that's exactly what happened today. Watching people analyze the compliance level of the rules set by the government in line with stopping or curbing the spread of COVID-19 in Nigeria is something that bothers me as a person. But in the coming days, we can only hope that people take responsibility in a bid to stop coronavirus and kick it out from Nigeria entirely. You have a responsibility. And we can only beg that you take that responsibility serious. This is Eniola Badmos TV. Remember to keep washing your hands or use an aqua based sanitizer. And yes, wear your face mask and practice physical distancing. Till next time again, my name is Elisha Muyosarulua. See you soon. Eniola Badmos TV. Entertainment without bounds.